Let's turn now to the Israel-Gaza war and in the latest development, the biggest coalition airdrop of aid since the war began is taking place to mark the end of Ramadan. Speaking in the past hour, the British Foreign Secretary, Lord Cameron, said thousands of people in desperate need would benefit. Meanwhile, Hamas says Israel's threat to attack the city of Rafah in southern Gaza raises questions about the purpose of any further talks on a ceasefire in exchange for the release of Israeli hostages. Uh, let's get the latest now from our chief international correspondent, Lise Doucette. Uh, Lise, bring us right up to date. Yes, the long Muslim month of fasting has ended this evening at dusk and begins the very special time of the Islamic Eid festival, the most important days of the Islamic calendar, a time usually of missing family and friends, of eating together, praying together. But sadly, in the midst of the Gaza war, is particularly in Gaza, where most of the population is now living with acute hunger, there's not much to celebrate. And so to lift spirits, as we've been reporting, the biggest airdrop since the start of the Gaza war has been carried out. 14 airdrops, nine nations, the whole operation led by Jordan. And to, perhaps to try to lift the spirits of children, this aid drop includes sweets and toys. One of the countries taking part is Britain and the Royal Air Force. And our diplomatic correspondent, James Landale, is on an RAF plane. This is the biggest aid drop yet. Nine nations, 14 aircraft, and it's been organized to mark the end of Ramadan. And that means that some of the aid that's been delivered today, it's not just food and water, it's also toys, it's also clothes. Now here in this RAF aircraft, we've got 12 of these containers. And they contain food, water, we're talking things like rice, flour, sugar, uh, baby powders, tea bags, cooking oil, everything that's needed just to survive. Now, each of these containers is about a ton, plus or minus, and there are 12 of them here in the hold. Now, it might look a lot here, but actually, that's less than one truck crossing the border by land. So, this is clearly not enough. Now, people say, no, it's, it, it will make an impact. It's better than nothing. And cumulatively, because these airdrops have been going on for about a month now, that means it's beginning to tell. One of the officials said that around 1,400 tonnes of aid has been delivered by air so far. And they're saying that's beginning to have an impact. But the bottom line is it's not enough. It's a very expensive way of delivering aid. Uh, it's inadequate. It's a symbol of the failure to get aid in by other means. But as everybody on this aircraft will tell you, it's probably better than nothing.